afternoon, everybody. Just wanted to, um, I guess, more than anything, give you, give you armor a chance to uh, one big group take care of you guys and, and uh, get to meet him and talk to him. Uh, uh, we're obviously the Flyers. We're obviously very excited to have uh, the armor join us uh, this summer uh, through free agency and, and uh, bring him back to the NHL. We, we feel he's still going to be a, a good player in our, in our league and. And uh, looking forward to seeing him do good things for the Flyers this year. Questions? Yeah, I mean, why was this the right fit for you at this point? Well, I already answered that question uh, two months ago when they were asking me. You know, I know I had, a, I had some teams that were interested in me, and, and uh, I thought, you know, when I want to come back to NHL, I don't want to come back to sit around. I want to, I want to still prove that I can. I still can play hockey on a high level, and you know. When the Flyers asked me if I would be interested to come back and play for that team, I was thinking about it, and I felt it was a good fit for me. Uh, there was a lot of changes, a lot of new guys, a lot of opportunities for anybody, also for me. Now, Fiorman, what's the biggest adjustment for you coming back into North America after three years? You know, the ranks are and everything else. Well, you you got to wait and see. I, I can answer you that after first practice. Uh, you know, a lot of people say the, the league has changed. Uh, a lot of young guys, uh, a little bit quicker. I wasn't here for the last few years. But it's not like I didn't play hash last year. I didn't retire. I was, I was just playing in different league uh, on a different ice. I think that's going to be the biggest difference. The, the ice, and it's probably going to take me some time to adjust. But hopefully, it's going to be quick. Yeah, what do you say to people that wonder where they have anything left at the any sort of nine streets you heard that before? Well, I'm not going to say anything right now. There's, there's probably a lot of people who wonder if I still can play. It's fine with me. Uh, you know, I'm not 21 to try to prove you something with my work. Uh, you just have to wait and see. Uh, you know, I can promise you one thing. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give my best shot to, to, to play on a high level. Uh, don't forget, I'm 39. I didn't come here just for one year to embarrass myself. I'm not saying I'm going to be dominating. I'm not saying I'm going to play good. But I can promise you I'm going to do all the right things to play. Can you talk about your relationship with Michael Nylander? And obviously, you know, everyone knows the success that two of you had, you know, in New York. You're obviously happy that, that he's here on a tryout, but hopefully longer. Well, you know, we played very good hockey together. Uh, you know, it was after a like, so after a lockout, uh, I came from Russia and my was, my was signed with the Rangers and it was totally different different league after the lockout and you know the the first, the first time it was a salary cap and you know I think Mikey got the opportunity to play and uh, there was a lot of a lot of guys uh, you know who got the opportunity to show they can play they can play and we we're lucky we, we run a new, new York Rangers. Uh, nobody really believed us. Uh, uh, the team the team before us, there were so many superstars, so many great players, and we didn't make a playoffs for the last seven years before us. And, you know, I think it was our advantage to just show we can play as a team. And I, I, I think the first year we had a success as a team and me and my good How tough has it been uh, the last couple of weeks with having played in the league last year and the whole team being lost in that? Plane crash. Well, it, it, was, it was tough. Uh, you know, I, I, that's life. Uh, you know, sometimes the lives can be tough. Uh, everybody wants for everybody. You know, all, only good things, but sometimes the life brings you something sad, and you know, you just you just have to feel sorry for the people, you know, for the family, the players. Uh, and you just have to sometimes think that life is a little bit more than anything else. Uh, and it get me thinking also too, it can happen to anybody, uh, anywhere. Uh, you know, that's why you should enjoy, enjoy your life any, any minute and, and work the hardest you can all, all the time. And uh, like I said, enjoy it. You, you won two cups your first two years. You never, people thought that team was going to win a bunch of them. And, 
here you are, 39 years old. Is, is that one of the reasons that you're back in this league? Uh, are you hungry to win another cup? Is that something that you, you probably thought you're going to win more back when you were young? Uh, to be honest with you, when I, when I came in the league, I was 18 years old. And during the communist years, uh, there was not many people who knew about NHL. All we knew was about the Olympics and World Championships. Uh, and I was first time out of the, out of the house. Uh, I was a little bit homesick. And I want to go. I want to go home after the season, and we will keep winning, keep winning, won the Stanley Cup, and, and, and I didn't appreciate it, what what I won, and I thought it's going to be like that every year, every year, and and we had a great, great we had a great team. Uh, I was pretty lucky. I was playing with a lot of great players. You know, I can learn from. You know, uh, that was probably the best thing that happened to me over my hockey career. But uh, uh, before every season, there's 30 teams. You know, before it was 21 teams, but now it's 30 teams who are trying to win it. And you know how how tough it is to, to win. It. You have to be lucky. You have to you have to be good team. You have to be and you know stay out of the injuries. Uh, that's very important. And, but I think this team has a has a, has a big chance to do it. And I'm going to be part of that. Yarmir, as, as happy as you made Flyers fans with your decision, do you think you disappointed a few Pittsburgh fans? <laughs> well, I, I I don't want to go back to that again. Uh, you know, I, first of all, when I was making the decision, I never thought that Prince Group fans would want me back. Uh, every time I played there, you know, they were booing me every time I touched the park. I, I didn't think it's going to be such a big deal if I'm not going to sign with the, with the Prince Group. On the other side, you know, it was it was my decision, and don't forget that was, you know, it was, it was my second second time. I was the second time created uh, over 21 years. And, I never really was a free agent. Uh, every time I, was, I almost was a free agent, the team signed me for mm -hmm. long term, and you know, it was the first time I was when I was 36, and I decided to go to Russia. And then the second time I was, I was a free agent, and uh, you know, I had a, I had a chance to to do <laughs> what I thought it's, it's the best for me. And it, you know, if if I hurt somebody, I, I apologize because I didn't want to. But on the other side, I I just don't understand why people can be that mad about my decision. What do you remember about the Flyers Pens rivalry when you played with the Penguins? <laughs> that was you know, Flyers was always playing against uh, the other big guys and they always dropped the big guys, strong guys, uh, they were playing very physical. And you know, I remember I had tough time to play uh, you know nobody really wanted to play the Flyers uh, back then. You know, it, it, it was tough. You know, he knew it's gonna it's gonna hurt to play. That's what I remember the most. <laughs> <laughs> now, what are your impressions? You stated today with uh, James Van Riemsdyk and Paul Giroux. What are your early impressions of those? Well, I, I wasn't here for three years, and I said it before. A lot of a lot of guys who are stars here, they they just started when I was when I was leaving, and uh, you know I, I think after first practice you cannot really say it, but. Uh, I was watching on YouTube, I was watching on Canada, uh, NHL.com, some highlights of those players. And I want to make sure to see what kind of players we got on the team, how they're scoring the goals. And I was pretty impressive. Uh, those guys were very skilled and they're, they're very good around the net. They're making good decisions. And, you know, that's, that's, that's great.